Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Now that we've got the big key, we need to get back to uh, where the boss is. But this door is unable to be used now, so we're going to have to find a way to open it or find another way out. So, let's head on up here, because up here is actually another door, which we can use this grappling hook spot to actually get over to. So let's do that. Now, where does this lead? Does this lead... Oh, this leads back into this room. Okay. It makes it nice and simple. Just need to get past everything here. Apparently going into this water down here allows the... Gets the spiky things off me. Which is probably faster than taking them out. But anyway. Let's just activate that there, like I said previously. And then let's jump out of here. And fly right up. To where we need to be. Where is the door? Over that way. Just gonna drop over here first. Make sure I don't run out of all my magic. Boomerang those two things on the door, and we are pretty much done with the dungeon. Just need to get through this last room here. Which I believe we can actually use our boomerang on these enemies to stun them. Apparently not hurt them. But if we do find... Ah, oh, never mind. Please, let me get you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, there's so many of these things, these spiky things everywhere. But anyway, we get one last chest before the end of the dungeon, which is probably going to be another joy pendant if I had to guess. Yep. Also, those spiky things are going crazy on me right now. Let's just get rid of those, and let's head to the boss. Don't think we need any magic for it. Let's go. Oh, hey, this is not the not quite the last room. But anyway. Oh, hello. You're just there, apparently. Also, with the green shoes, we can stun them with the boomerang, and they'll be stunned for a lot longer. Which is quite helpful. But anyway, there's a lot of spiky things in this room. So let's just hit all of those. I guess. Get final preparations. There's a fair if we needed it. But we should don't, really. Ah, uh, but there's also a pot here. And some sticks. So let's just light... Oh, come on. Light that on fire, and then... Hit that with the fire, and now we can use the pot to get here quickly if we need to. But anyway, let's go into this boss door. Hey, look, it's my car. So here we go, we have a, another boss to fight. I have no idea what this is actually called because it doesn't tell me the name of the boss. But we need to use our boomerang to get rid of all of its ties to the ceiling. Dodging its tentacles that it's putting into the ground. Come on, boomerang, there we go. Get rid of, cut all of, really? Cut all of those. And it drops down, allowing us to hit its weak point. So let's just do some spin attacks to do some good damage. I almost got it, probably, but it, if we stay in there too long, we get eight et, I guess. It just eats us, and we have to get spat, spat out again. Oh boy, ow. Wish I wouldn't turn around like that when I'm trying to do things. It's also good to roll whenever you have your boomerang thrown, so you can actually have the camera kind of following you. Oh, come on, please. Just a few more. Just four more. If I can actually hit them, that'd be great. They also do reattach themselves after a while, so you do need to be quick. There we go. And this should be just about done.
Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The Great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, th th that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Let's grab this heart container. Anything else to say, Makar? Let's go, quickly. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar, you are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here's which I pro have promised you. Please accept it. You received Faroz Pearl. The Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the of the Goddess Faroz. It is my hope hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Oh, great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests around the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, Great Swordsman. May the winds of change, chance, bring us together again someday. So there we go. We are done here. And we can hear Makar playing his... thing. I'm pr I would probably say a violin, but also... It's kind of a weird size for him. <laughs> so, I don't know. Thank you, Link, for all that you have done for me. How was my performance? Did it suit your tastes or no? This instrument is the one uh, the Great Decatry gave to me on the day of my birth. He said that it, it is an instrument that people played long, long ago. It has taken many long hours to, of practice for me to be able to perform at the level I do now. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on journeys to create new forests in the world. But both Hollow... Uh, who studies the making of potions, and I ha are always on this island. Please come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. So yes, there is a few other things here. Like Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. Let's go in here. Now, I don't think we actually can do this right now. Just because I haven't done enough stuff. 
Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing my car back to us. I am Hollow. I make potions from the fruits of the forest. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, Swordsman. But the ones I ha have here only seem to work for my f on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, Swordsman, then you will surely need a potion that can replenish it. Then if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I had seeds from the flowers, flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, then maybe I could make a potion for you. Do you know about those seeds? Yes, I do. Because we have a few. We have six. Also 15. This is a good collection of stuff right here. There's only one available slot in here, so... Uh, but yeah, we have these bub Deku Baba seeds, or Boko Baba seeds, that's one. Oh, that's, that's a Boko Baba seed. That's it. That's what I need to make the kind of super replenishing potion that would help you, Swordsman. Oh, but I can't give you any potion if you don't have an empty bottle to carry it in. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I don't have any space for it, but I guess I could just use it now. Just pop that open. Even though I don't need to. Just so we can find out how much we need to actually spend for this. That's a Boko Baba seed, isn't it? If I mix some of these up, I can make the kind of super uh, replenishing potion that would help you swordsmen. Alright, I'm going to use four of your seeds to create a super replenishing potion. Please wait just a moment. Onjala Manjala, Chowai! He's also got Boko Baba seeds on the wall and a Boko Baba painting to show you what you need to do to get this. Haha, -ha, it's ready, here you go. You got some blue potion. Set it to whatever you want to use it to uh, replenish both the life energy and magic power. Keep it in your bottle until you need it. Come see me again after you gather more seeds. I'll be waiting. Well, that's actually kind of helpful, especially early on, I guess. Actually, maybe not early on, but still. We can now get replenish a little bit of magic and health, I guess, with that. But anyway, let's get out of here because we need to do some other stuff around the world. So let's do that. Though I think there's also one other thing I could do here at the moment. I kind of just want to come back to this later. Anyway, so. Just because there are so many other things that need to be done around the world anyway. And the mailbox is dancing. Which means that we need to check it. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Dear Link, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean that you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you, and I, I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you, are, if you see any wriggling or dancing post boxes, Please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter, with my letter, in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. We get a piece of heart just for free, which is pretty cool. But anyway, we need to the King of Red Lions. Because it wouldn't let me jump into him. So this place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get to the remaining pearl. It lies in the pla a place northwest of here. We must sail immediately. Okay, then. 
and we just aim in the correct direction, which I think is this way. And conveniently, the wind's already going that way. And we just double check with the map. Yes, except it's more that way-ish. Let's sail. Oh my goodness, this feels so slow right now for some reason. Probably because I'm not directly into the wind. But that's okay. Let us go. Sailing away from the Forest Haven. We, were, we weren't there for a very long time, but it felt like a long time. Especially because I beat the boss a lot faster than I thought I would. What's this island in front of us? What could it be? Not the one that we need, because we're far away from that. But still, this one could be interesting for us, maybe. You also don't have to jump to get these uh, rupees on the barrels. I need to be careful around here, actually. Actually, I could actually do this now. Hang on. I'm going to get this fish as well. But then I'm going to do other things. Which is probably not a great idea at this point in time, but I think I can do it. Where is fish? Where is fish? There is fish. You can target it, which is which helps. Hoy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I can take you... I take it you want a chart and information about the island. Same text as before. I can probably just skip through that now. From now on. But anyway. So tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph folks? It's right here, there. I tell you, the article, article... Genuine, don't you, the genuine article in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and sa scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, just give me give it the bait. With that, he's off. Okay, we have another thing on our C chart, which is helpful. Now I'm gonna just quickly check oh, on this island. Okay, yes, he is there. Nope, stop, please, get out. Why is the... Ah. <laughs> I'm apparently not used to this version. If it wasn't already obvious. But anyway, this place looks quite nice. It's got a house up here. Which I don't believe we can get into. Miss Mari's... Cabana. Cabot? I don't know. <laughs> Property of Windfall Island's lovely teacher. Visitors not welcome. The management. Okay, then. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem. This cabana belongs to the master. And the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you. Away, I say. Okay, talking door. I don't think I can get to the second part of this island as well, so I'm going to have to come back to this later. Because we can see a treasure chest up there. But we cannot reach it. We can also see across the thing over here. Across this little bit of water. That there is a Korok next to a little tree. The tree is withering. Hello, swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I came here to plant the great Deku tree seed. But look, usually the forest trees sprout quite vigorously wherever they, you plant them. But for some reason, this one is, has withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering as well. It seems that when one tree fall, fails to grow from a seed, all the forest trees from that year's seed wither and fail to grow, tall and mighty. What are we to do? If we are not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest will never spread, and the great Deku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe if we could sprinkle the water from the forest haven on the tree, 
Maybe then the sapling would be saved. That water is the wells wellspring of the great Decatree's life force. Swordsman, could you go to the forest haven and get some of the water that flows around the great Decatree? Could you get some and sprinkle it on this poor forest tree? Please, please help me. So yes, this is something we'll do later on. Specifically because we need to get around to all eight of these withering trees in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't know. We need to do it quickly is the thing. And we have to know where they all are as well, so. We'll do that eventually. Because if, if we only save seven within the time, then one will be still withering, which will cause the rest to wither after that point. Ho ho! One, one flying seagull! No, two, two flying seagulls! Wait, I see more seagulls! Three, four, five, now six! No, no, seven seagulls! Eight! This is madness! Eight seagulls! Crazy man. He's a crazy man. <laughs> Can I please get to the telescope? Let's look at where he's looking. And then zoom in. Zoom out. Oh, seagulls. I see them. It's quite a lot of them over there. It'd probably be best to avoid them. But then, there's me. And I feel like going directly into them right now to see if I can do this. This is not a good idea. But I'm crazy. Now, where are they? Should be able to see them. No, actually, they're going this way. So that means they're over here. And if we get right up next to them, we get caught in a whirlpool. And we can't escape. And then there's this gigantic Octorok monster. Just here. We have to hit all of its eyes with our boomerang. This is the only way we can currently attack them. So let me try and do that as quickly as possible. If we're in here too long, we'll take damage because of being pulled in slowly to the Octorok. But we should be alright. It's not extremely fast to take out its eyes with the boomerang, and it's we need to take out all of them. And none of them have been taken out completely yet, so... When they are taken out completely, they'll change to something else. I'm not sure if it's the blue. Maybe it's the blue instead of the yellow. But I feel like it's something else. But this might just be how it is with the boomerang. If I'm not wrong. Come on. This should be like one left. We can also target the remaining ones. And there we go. Once they're all blue, we've defeated it. So that one other bit of seagulls that we saw earlier on our way to the forest haven, we could also do that now because that is also another one of those. Except that each of these gigantic octoroks have a different amount of eyes on them. And will be harder to kill, so. But anyway, let's grab this treasure that it dropped. Because each one also has their own reward. Which is sometimes it's a treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean floor, but this one, well some of them aren't. Get an orange rupee! Please don't be f Okay, my wallet can actually hold that. That's incredible, actually. Now, I need to go this way, I believe. I'm gonna look at the map again to make sure I'm on course. Looks like I am. Cool, so that's our first Octrock down. It feels good. It feels very good, actually. It's also cool that the seagulls actually sometimes follow you. Oh, I have to. I have to turn. I have to get more rupees, even though I'm probably going to get a full wallet soon. Well, so that's a lot of sea hats, which are a lot like pea hats, but they're at sea, and they're ginormous and terrifying, basically. So I'm going to try and avoid them for the moment, but we will need to go to that island over there at some point. But not right now, because that's a lot of sea hats. We can take out sea hats, I believe, with the boomerang, though. Oh, I'm way off course. I'm still way off course. What is wrong with me? 
Also, I love the weather at sea. Sometimes there'll be more waves than... Sometimes there'll be just flat sea. And it's so cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Also, if we ever get knocked out of our boat by some barrels, I believe, that can appear. Uh, the, the King of Red Lions does not... Um, he won't just come back to us. We have to actually swim to him. Oh my goodness, sea hats. So many sea hats. Also, that is an enemy ship. They will shoot bomb bombs at us, so we need to be careful of that. With their cannons. And that's an enemy reef, so we need to stay away from that as well. Also, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I see that. I see that, I kind of want that. Give me that. Nope, wrong one. Give me the sea chart of this reef. Oi, small fry. Cyclops Reef. It also tells us the name on on the the sea chart of what the island each island is called. You've seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Yeah, well, those things are sh are a sure sign that there's treasure in the the deeps, Fry. But let me tell you, there are some lights that don't always shine. Yeah, there are these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. They say that those marks are the, those mark the spots where the greatest treasures are hidden. And that's all the info I've got to offer. And that with that he's off. So yeah, we can also use the trade charts to get those to appear, which I've already explained, but anyway. But anyway, I don't think there's too many new treasure charts that we have right now to help us. I don't know if I've seen this island or not. Oh, I have seen that island. Ah, we should have, when we were still over there, we could have got the treasure there. Well, we'll come back for it. We have to go back for a lot of other things as well, so might as well. Also, hello, Sea Hat. You are huge and terrifying. Just gonna sail away. Don't mind me. I could get that uh, lookout over there, but I kind of want to leave it for the moment. But it's also interesting that he explained that the rings of light only appear at night. Or the... the non-special non ones, at least. But anyway, this is the island that we're supposed to be getting to. In front of us. But, um, something looks wrong. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. What is the meaning of this? The I uh, island, it is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabun. Jabun? Jabun. I don't know. Once lived here, but no signs of him remains. Ho there, Link. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jabun? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this 
too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess wh where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would be would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they went the worst last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here any longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. So yes. So Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito, Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? So that is what we're going to do. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.